haven't done my camera in a while. Good morning everyone, welcome back to my vlog channel. So it has been a little while since I've actually done a vlog. I've been really stressed, really busy. There's a lot happening in the world right now which I'm not going to talk about because I don't want my channel to turn into Twitter, basically. So I'm just not going to speak about it because every single person, everyone on YouTube right now is talking about it and I feel like I can't escape what is happening. So we're just going to keep this a safe space. Yeah, I'm really bored so I wanted to pick up my camera. I've not been doing much. I've got a couple of clips on my SD card that I filmed over the past couple of weeks. I've basically been talking to Sheffield. I've done a bunch of stuff at UNE my graduation got cancelled. I'm now off uni for a month so I do want to pick up my camera and start vlogging a lot more. I have really really missed it. I've just not really been doing enough substantial things. I haven't had any work because obviously everyone's been getting the work cancelled and like everything's been cancelled. I went to do a really fun exciting brand deal with Gucci. Like how fucking insane. Gucci sunglasses. I went to do a really cool brand deal but they couldn't send the products out to me because it was coming from Milan. So um that never happened. All my work's sort of been cancelled so I've just sort of not had uni because I'm off for a month for spring break but then also now uni's actually closed. Everything's just sort of come to a standstill so I've just sort of been sat in my house because I've not been going out obviously. I don't need to go out so like there's no point in me endangering anyone. I could be carrying all that stuff. So I've just not really been doing anything so I've not really picked up my camera. However I do want to pick up my camera because today we're doing a photo shoot. We obviously still have to go on with our uni projects and stuff like that so Freya's shoot is happening today and I am the model again. I modelled for Hazards the other week and it turned out alright actually. We are kind of fun, kind of fresh. I'm just really tired I'm kind of just over it all so I feel like vlogging is going to be a distraction for me as well But yeah, I just wanted to get back on my game. My bedroom is a mess I'm going to redo all my bedroom. I'm going to try and weekly vlog So I'm going to try do that all that fun stuff We're going to try and have weekly vlogs come in and everything like that I've been watching a bunch of people's vlogs and I was like, you know what? I need to get back into this So here's me getting back into it But I'm going to show you my room afterwards because it is a mess I think my room's putting me in more like a bad headspace than anything right now Because I'm spending so much time in here and picking apart every little thing that I hate And I've also been watching a lot of people's movies Moving vlogs and I were really excited because we were meant to be moving out of London this year I meant to be doing all that stuff and now I don't know what the fuck's happening with it because I feel like uni's gonna get pushed back we're gonna have to stay in London longer than in intended and it's just it's fucking everything up but this is a safe space so we're not gonna speak about it that's all I'm gonna say on the matter I belong I belong to you I belong I belong to you Famous put his glasses on. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So, I've not actually spoke to my camera all today. It is now the afternoon, so I don't know why I said this morning. But I've travelled from. I keep forgetting what I'm saying. I travelled from London to Sheffield today, and I'm now with Megan and Ella. We're at Meadowall. I don't really know what we're doing. Hi! <laughs> I don't know what we're here for. Ella said she was getting an outfit, but apparently she's already got an outfit because tonight it's my cousin's 21st birthday party, which is why I'm actually back in Sheffield. I'm literally here for the weekend. Uh, and then I'm heading back to town, but we've just come to Meadowall. I wanted to wear these glasses. But apparently I can't wear these glasses. So that's the situation. I don't really know what we're actually doing. I don't really get communicated too much. I just got told that we're coming to Meadowall. So I was like, all right, cool, fine. No one's in my house right now. I just went in and dropped my bags off. Oh, and dad aren't there. They're at work. So we've come to Meadowall. We're going to have a little mooge around. I'm starving, so I need to get food. But I just thought I'd speak to the vlog because I've not updated you. How did you find me? Hey? How did you get up this time?
Josh. My camera's there, Josh. She's not filming on that one. What? My camera's there. <laughs> I didn't. Oh shit. Oh shite. <laughs> This is what um, life as a model is like. Getting my shoes cleaned. That's just not fucking correct. Right, so just a little update. We're like three looks in, aren't we? Yeah. Three looks. Just I've not really filmed. I've not really filmed much because obviously I am um, being the Morgan for this shoot. But it's going well. We're just doing. We're removing the glitter. or trying to remove the glitter from my face. This is the situation. Last look. So this is the last one, right? No, no two more. Two more. Lovely. But it's going well. More this is the current situation right no, now. We're just testing some lighting. As I said, my uni has been cancelled, so I ordered some lighting and stuff because yeah. I thought I'd still have to do all my shoots mm -hmm. back at home. So we'd like brought the studio That's to us, sort of thing. Um, and they're just testing really the new light with some gels. Uh, some fun stuff is happening right now. Like, but this look, is what I look like. I've got pearls literally all over my face. Blue. As you can see, my skin looks incredible. I just done this funky thing to my hair. I never normally have my forehead on show because it's absolutely massive. So we're just going to work with it. I also have purple in my waterline. Very fun, very fun. It looked like um, Velma from Scooby-Doo. The final look guys, this is it. Right, the shoot is finished, but this is what my room now looks like, which is always fabulous. I need to clean this, but I'm actually so tired and cannot be bothered. Also, my desk area is also cluttered and gross and just a mess. So, love this for me, honestly. Like, it's literally a mess everywhere. So, we're going to end this section of the vlog, and I will see you in the morning when I don't know what the hell's happening or what's going to unfold. Also, my hair, the dye is really washed out of my hair, so I'm going to have to do that again at some point. But this is the situation. I'm going to hit the hair. So fucking tired. Good night. the next day as you can see I've just literally put some moisturizer on put a bit of bronzer on done a bit of things and a bit of stuff because I need to do stuff today we don't know what the current situation with all this stuff is we believe that we're gonna be on lockdown from tomorrow so I gotta do some stuff today I need to go out and just get like some vitamin C and some paracetamols and just I just need to get some stuff to be prepared because I'm not prepared at all I sort of just weren't taking it too seriously I was taking it seriously but in the sense of like I didn't go out and like bulk buy because I think that's so dumb didn't do any of that and now I'm realizing if we actually are going on lockdown I kind of should have like got some stuff because everyone else seems to have got some stuff and what scared me is my mum and dad rang me and said please come home and the train station's closed so I can't have to get home so now I'm just stuck here I would have stayed anyway like I would have stayed in London because obviously has in Friary I didn't want to leave them all that stuff just got ready because I need to take some photos I basically have a big box of stuff from size that I need to take photos in and then send back to the shop because I just wanted to use it for a photo shoot but for my uni work like style the shoot in these clothes but now this situation's happening I'm not going to re return it in time and also my models have cancelled on me So I'm just going to wear it myself and use it for my own Instagram At least I've got some use out of it and then I'm going to take it back to the post office today Just so I'm not stuck with like 300 pounds worth of clothes that I'm not going to wear Alright, so got a lovely little box here It arrived the other day, I was meant to just shoot all this stuff I might keep this hat actually, I was getting like mixed messages about this hat So I wanted to do like a cyber, cyber futuristic cyber type of photo shoot in these clothes, you'll see why in a second, but also keep it kind of streetwear and cool. So I picked up this hat, which I think is really, really cool, that I actually really like it. I just don't know if I'd wear a hat like this, like with a peak like that. I feel like all my hats are more like flat peak. I also picked up this jumper, which I've not actually got out yet. Just a black stussy jumper with this yellow writing, obviously. It all kind of fits the same, same colour palette, you know? I don't know what trousers I were planning on wearing with this, but we're just going to work with it. And then these shoes, they're like ugly but cool, and if they weren't 100 and 80 pounds I would definitely keep them because they are so unbelievably comfy and I think they like so ugly that like they kind of make them look cool so I picked up these little Nike shoes and I know people are gonna hate them I just know that I would hate these if I saw someone talking about them but I feel with the right outfit I don't know the little bubble inside there 
it's cute as well. I don't know, I feel like it works for what I want it to be, like futuristic sportswear, like this is it, like hi, walk on the moon in these shoes, you know? I'm gonna get my shit together, take some pics, and then go to Westfields and try and not catch a virus. I need to ship first. That's probably TMI. Surprise, everything is set up. However, I, this is so fucking dumb. Since living in London, I've realized that it happens in like where I'm from in Sheffield, it happens, it happens everywhere. And I'm pretty sure your town or your city will do this as well. But more so in London, people leave things outside of their houses, obviously for the bin men to come or just someone to pass by, pick up and then have as theirs. I wanted to start a thread and I said, I should have done this when I first moved here. Like a thread of, since living in London, here's what I found on the sidewalk or here's what I found on the side of the street because people leave the most random shit ever. Like, I've literally seen the most bizarre things, even like sex toys on the side of the street, like the most bizarre things. And this is not a most random thing, but this is one thing that I've picked up and actually brought back and I'm now gonna try and use as a prop. I just don't know if it's gonna work, but it's super cool. And I'm just disclaiming it because people are gonna be like, where the fuck did you find that? It's dusty, it's dirty, it probably has a rat living inside it. What the hell are you doing by and having it in your bedroom? Um, so hi, here's my photography prop. I had this TV or a TV like this when I was younger and I saw this on the side of the street the other day and me and Haz were literally running down the street with it but I wanted to document this process because if this works I'm hoping it goes like the static screen because if it does then this is a great photography prop oh we have a red light I also don't have a remote for it so this is the issue if I press some buttons oh the screen's changing please do the little static thing oh Oh my god, this is incredible. I literally just like come everywhere. Oh my god, this is incredible. This is gonna be such a cool prop. Oh my god, this fits my theme so well. Like I'm gonna sit on this TV and it's gonna be like this. Oh my god, this is this is great. I'm actually gonna shit everywhere. This is great. Right, so I don't know why there were any point in me actually tidying my room yesterday because if you just take a little look, it is all such a mess. I've just took the studio set up down. We're gonna head to Westfields now because like I said, we need to go in a few shops. I'm literally just wearing the most ugly outfit ever. Just some big ass, big ass jeans. I absolutely love these jeans. Super fun, super fresh. Where are they from? <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go to Westfields now. I don't know why I just <laughs> did the little tease there. But we're gonna go to Westfields, go to the post office, do all that fun stuff, and then come back and hibernate. And then isolation officially begins. As you can see, Westfields is looking rather um, spacious today. Look at all my fans in one building. So wow. Yeah. Right, we made it alive and well. So apparently there's absolutely nothing anywhere and this is all I got from my little shop. So I got some of these because I decided if I'm going to be indoors, I'm going to learn how to do fun nail art. As in like, I've seen this woman, I'll insert her Instagram on screen. And then I also picked up some of these. I was trying to find some vitamin C. So I basically just ended up getting these two little things. Just obviously so we keep on top of the health and stuff. But um, there's not much, you know, not much stock at all, darling. We didn't go to actual like Tesco's. Because I think we're just going to walk to Sainsbury's later on. Because all we really need is milk. I want to get some more tuna. But I think that's pretty much like all we really need. We didn't really need much. I really don't know what I'm meant to be buying. Like, I'm so dumb. I remember when like, what on earth do I even like? Buy. I don't know what I'm preparing for. I don't really get it. I'm confused. I don't really know what I was meant to buy. I went out with the intention of buying some vitamin C. Came back with some nail varnish and no vitamin C. So. <laughs> we just started Domino's and I just finished editing up this video right here. Now I know what you're thinking, is that an ad? No it's not, but I'm trying to get it to be. <laughs> We're trying to produce good content, you know? Anyway, this is what I bought from the shop today. So we got a little nail art kit. I know I just briefly showed it, but I also, <coughs> I also bought some nail varnishes. And I think what I'm gonna do is, in fact, no, I need to go through photos that I um, took today first and get those sorted for the Instagram, you know, the in online communities. Um, I also have a bunch of other nail bonnets. Just mind me moving my 100,000 subscriber plaque. <laughs> this quarantine is really getting to my head. Where's my purple nail varnish? Freya, I'm going to say it once. Where's my purple nail varnish gone, lady? I've got blue on. I have my own purple nail varnish. This is not right. Someone's took it and I want someone just to take I've responsibility. Got I've got my own purple one. I have, I've used your blue one. I have my own purple one. Just double check that 
He's not there, no he's not, and I'm fucking furious. I'm gonna be more angry in my life. Excuse me, lady. Yeah, Where's lady. my purple nail varnish? Uh, I don't know, but your tongue's in Anna's arsehole. Where's my purple nail varnish, house? Oh, I, I know, know you've had it. You got it at my room yesterday for no, Josh's shoe. I didn't shoe. use the purple. When did I use the purple? I you said to me, have you got purple? I said, yeah, you said you've only got blue. And then you said, oh, I found it. Never mind. Yeah, and they're both on the floor, including your white one. I didn't. Oh, I, I didn't can't, find, I can't find my white one or my purple. And I think it's got something to do with you. You've got smug written all over your face, lady. <laughs> you don't know, they could be in my bag. Mm, it's so like my eyebrow gel. Mm. But you also want my purple nail varnish. Oh, it's really odd. You've got a purple phone case as well, and a purple lavender, and that's purple. Seems to be a around. pattern here. Could we please get out the purple Yay. nail varnish and hand it over? It's contraband. Oh, God. It's contraband. I don't know if it's in here, genuinely. Really? She's looking a bit small, aren't you? Alright, I'm being serious. Mm. Is that it? Mm, it appears to be there. Doesn't it? Along with my white. So, Lady, do you said I don't want your skanky purple? Um, thank you. I haven't done this because why would I put my eyeliner in my nail varnish? I didn't put these away. Oh, I think I you need that. to go talk to someone else, Lady. Well, I've got what I came for and now I'm going to leave. Right, back to regular programming. And what I was saying is I have all these nail varnishes which actually form a really cute ensemble. If you can't already tell. I don't know if you've seen it or you might not have. Wow! Um, me and Freya have been watching a YouTube series called Charity Shop Sue, which is where that impression and that voice comes from, and those quotes come from as well. And uh, it's kind of taken over our lives. So this is what we've been doing in quarantine. But yeah, I want to paint my nails. Start my own nail shop. You didn't say thank you again. Are you actually know this, I thank you. You're so rude. And we've, got it, and we've got it on video as well. Really we've got vlog. it on video this time. You didn't say thank you. Don't you f***ing dare say I don't say thank you or I'm not nice to my f***ing new drivers because it's getting <laughs> pissing me off. I have nice f***ing lovers. And I said, hi, thank you, have a nice evening. So don't you ever f***ing dare say that. You rude f***ers. You disgusting YouTubers. Vicky, are you, you using me. steamer without hey, permission? Pizza. They're on your pizza as well, babe. Don't you worry. That's disgusting. <laughs> if anyone's wondering what I get from Domino's, what did I get? No one, barbecue. No one was no. actually wondering. <laughs> barbecue base for those of you that are wondering. Remove the bacon, Texas barbecue. So everyone, it appears to be that time in the evening where I actually sit down, wash my face, do my little skincare regime before bed, and then get into bed. It's currently 20 past 12, so this is probably one of the latest I've been to bed recently. But oh my god, I painted my nails. Look how fun this is. So I can't do this hand because I'm right-handed so I can never do my left hand So I just got has to paint my nails the new colors of nail varnish that I actually that I picked up today But look how fun this is so I tried to do a little smiley faces and I did the opposite So these two nails are obviously opposites to them and then vice versa today's been quite fun actually I've enjoyed it. I felt very creative and very inspired. I need to film a own channel video Someone told me that the under eye creams are the same formulas as like lip balms or the same We have the same skin follicles under your eyes as you do on your lips So I always just rub the eye cream excess on my lips. I don't know if I should do that Leave some comments below things we can do all that fun stuff and I will chat to you very very soon with a brand new vlog I've missed you all. Um, I hope you're all keeping well keeping safe Remember, the last thing I'm going to say is just keep on top of everything, get some vitamins, boost your immune system, stay productive, do all that fun stuff, learn a new hobby, become a nail artist like me, just do some stuff, use this time to practice things. Oh, I'm going to show you the progress so far on my little Photoshop job. Ta-da! But yeah, on that note, I'm going to go. I love you a lot and I will chat to you very, very soon. Anastasia's texting me and I'm going to end it. Bye, guys.